Well guys, here we are. Nothing like starting off the day with a flat tire, but uh, you guys would have seen this if you watched one of my other videos. I just got to get around to getting this fixed. As you can see, the tire is kind of worn. We'll probably end up replacing it, but not today. I don't have the biggest compressor here, so I'd imagine it's going to kick on any second. Little bit more and we'll call that good okay looks good to me right there is a slow leak on a tire and as I mentioned we'll get that fixed but not today one thing I like about this coyote and what they've done here with the valve stem see how they have that welded piece around it makes it quite nice so you don't break it off all right well let's leave that tire for a little bit we'll come back to the tractor in just a minute what we're doing today is we're back across the way we're dealing with the equipment shed build you guys would have seen me in one of the more recent videos put down all the flooring and you can see it turned out pretty well and as it gets exposed to the sun it's drying more and more this flooring here i cut all of it on the sawmill and you can go back in the playlist and check that out in addition to cutting the floorboards i also have recently cut these beams and that's what we're going to be tackling today what we have here is six beams and these beams are going to span the gap obviously from post to post at the back and at the front. Now this is green lumber meaning it came from trees not all that long ago and it's definitely got a lot of moisture in it still. It's going to dry as it's in place but one of the downsides of using green lumber for building especially for beams that size is it's quite heavy for a guy like me to get up on top of those posts by myself. In comes the tractor. Luckily for me, I've got the tractor. The tractor is going to make life a lot easier and definitely make this job a lot safer. Got the forks on the front here, and so that'll help me hold it in position, and then we'll tack the beams into place. So that's the goal here today. Now, one, some of you guys have talked about some uh, things with this platform and had questions about it, and I just wanted to address it. Some of you have asked me, why did you not excavate the ground a little bit? down here in order to make that platform end lower so that this would all be the same level. Well, here's the reason. We've got some massive trees up here. If you can have a look here. See this one here that was cut down? And we got some other white pines. There's one there and one there and one there and one there. These have massive root structures and I'm just not prepared to go to that effort to dig it out. And so the next best thing to make life easier on me was to create this bit of a step here. That's a little bit higher than this. Didn't have to do any excavating and uh, I'm up and working. Some of you guys out there have asked me, why do I put a platform made out of wood as the base as opposed to just putting posts in a hole in the ground and then packing down some stone? Now, here's the real reason. I like to be able to sweep the floor off. I also like the fact that the floor doesn't move. It's always nice and level and I can find anything if I set it down on the ground. If I were to have a stone base here, you guys know exactly what happens. It ends up getting dirty and dusty and all that sort of stuff. You get ruts where you're driving the equipment in and out. You have to re-level it from time to time. And I didn't want to go down that way. And so I've got the wood available to me. I've got the know-how for the building and I figured what the heck, let's do another platform. So this is what we got. This is what we're working with. We're going to get underway here. Fingers crossed that it goes well. Fingers crossed that the weather sort of takes a bit of a cool turn because it is warm already. The bugs are biting as you guys can see and uh, we're gonna make the best of it. Glad you guys are all here, let's get down to work. Okay, well, first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and take the two by four here. I'm gonna cut it into 18 inch lengths. These are gonna go on to the back of the post, so when I put the beams up there, 
It's got something to rest against. So one thing I do here is I make sure that I keep one block in order to do all the tracing all the way along the two by four. So that if one of those pieces I cut is maybe a little bit too long or too short, that error doesn't get put onto the next one by tracing it. I go back to my original, I trace with it, then I put it down, cut it, then I go back, get my original, trace it, cut it. And then at the very least, we know we're starting with the exact same size for every single one. I'm just marking where the top of the post is and where the beam's going to go so when I position it I have a line to sort of go off of. So I wrote down some dimensions already and I got to make sure this is obviously accurate because if I get this cut wrong, well, then I'm going to have to make some new beams. So I got all my dimensions down here. I'm just going back and double checking them. So far, so good. can't read my writing that's probably no good what does that say 118 way down here and just so you guys know I've already cut that end meaning I've already squared it so that it's a nice flat square edge that way I can draw my uh, draw my dimension off of it And I actually wrote the name of where the beam goes and it matches up with this here. That's what I keep looking at.
In a perfect world, I'd have a circular saw that had a blade that was big enough to get all the way through this, but obviously I don't. Alternatively, I could put this up on my miter saw. The reason I don't is I don't have a strong enough adjustable saw horse in order to support the weight of this. This is pretty heavy. Well, I tell you guys, if you live in a southern climate where there's all kinds of heat and all kinds of humidity, my hat's off to you. I am just about dying out here, but we're getting, uh, we're getting there. I got all the posts cut, excuse me, all the beams cut, and I've got everything in place in the post, uh, those extra pieces just to hold the beams in place. So I think the next thing is for me to have a little drink of water, then sludge, then get into the tractor where the air conditioning is, and we'll get the tractor to help us lift the beams into place, and hopefully that goes smoothly. I hope. Unfortunately, I can't get any closer with my tractor and so I came in on a bit of an angle at least it gets this one corner closer I'm gonna have to handle this by hand. So hopefully this doesn't turn into a comedy event. We'll give her a go I'm a little surprised, it worked out pretty good. Well, change of plans, because the tractor isn't getting as far over the, uh, over the platform here as I thought, Looks like I'm going to put all the back ones in first by hand and we'll use the tractor to get the front ones in. Should probably hydrate for this. I'm certainly not getting any younger or stronger and it's certainly not getting any cooler out here. So this will be a bit of a bit of a headache, but you know, we'll get her done.
All right, guys. Well, I think things turned out pretty well. We got all six of the beams into place and the best part of this whole thing is I threw a level up there and we actually are level and you never know before uh, before putting the beams up if you measured right. So it's reassuring when you finally get stuff up there and everything is as it should be. You guys can see we got the rafters coming up next. We got the rafters that are going to go from left to right, obviously, on top of both of the beams. Once those are in place, then we'll look at doing a little bit of bracing and run some strapping across the top of the rafters and then the steel roof and who knows at one point we'll uh, talk about siding i don't even know what that's going to look like yet but i got an idea in the back of my head i'll pull out at some point as i mentioned earlier it is hotter than blazes out here and i can tell you i think i've stopped sweating officially and that's normally a scary point because that means you're very dehydrated so i'm gonna head in i'm not gonna forget my sludge but i'm definitely gonna drink some water first and foremost for all you guys out there if you haven't seen the build thus far Make sure you see the build from the ground up for the project behind me. If you're brand new to the channel, welcome aboard. If you're not brand new, welcome back. Check out all my other videos. Give me a thumbs up and guys, I'll see you next time. Don't worry, I didn't forget the bracing.